Welcome to Allen Sports. This video is designed to help you safely and properly assemble the Allen Sports 400QR trailer hitch rack. Before getting started, please carefully read the instruction manual and all safety warning labels before using the trailer. This rack should not be mounted on the front of a vehicle or to a camper trailer or RV hitch and is only intended for use with a receiver hitch directly mounted to your vehicle. For further information on this, please see the instruction manual or go online to allensportsusa.com. The rack should be fully assembled before mounting to your vehicle. Insert the lower portion of the RR post into the hitch so that the holes at the bottom of each part line up. Insert the 3 8 inch by 4 inch bolt through the hole and thread the 3 8 inch lock nut onto the end of the bolt. Tighten nut and bolt firmly using two wrenches. Insert carry arm assembly into upper portion of the RR post, lining up the holes in each part. Insert the 3 8 inch by 2 and a half inch bolts through each hole and thread one 3 8 inch lock nut onto the end of the bolts. Tighten each nut and bolt firmly using two wrenches. Upon completion, both parts should be firmly joined together. Once the carry arm is assembled, you can now install the spine pad. With Allen Sports in the upper position, line up the recesses for the nut and bolt heads. Snap the spine pad into place onto the receiver rack's vertical post. Now that the rack is properly assembled, you can now install the rack onto your vehicle. Depress hitch spring pin and insert rack into the receiver hitch until hitch spring pin engages hole in vehicle receiver hitch. It is important to note that this rack should only be installed on a 2-inch receiver hitch. Turn the key counterclockwise to engage or unlock the knob. Turn the locking knob clockwise to tighten the rack inside of the receiver hitch. Be careful not to over-tighten. A properly secured rack should be free of any movement inside the receiver hitch. Once in place, you can turn the key clockwise to disengage the knob and lock the rack in place. You can now begin to load your bicycles on the rack. Load your first bicycle with its chain and gears facing away from the rack. Make sure that the bicycles do not come in contact with the vehicle. Load subsequent bicycles in alternating directions. For best weight distribution, load heaviest bicycles first. After bicycles are loaded, check that the entire rack is secure. For suspension, women's bikes, place the bottom side of the down tube onto the carry arm of the rack. Rotate and secure the tie-down cradle as needed. Position the other carry arm behind the seat post tube and under the rear seat stay. If the spaces on the frame are too small for the carry arms, or if you have a bicycle without a top tube such as a step-through style or full suspension bicycle, you may need to use a bicycle adapter bar, like the model 900B shown here. Use the 70-inch strap to pull all bicycles together around bottom brackets. The strap should also secure the wheels. Now that your bikes are all mounted and secure, you're ready to head on your adventure. Every Allen Sports Rack is made with ease of use and you in mind. So enjoy and check us out at allensportsusa.com for more information, parts, and new products. Thank you and we'll see you out there.